North Korea is not making any concessions. Instead, they're providing Russia with new ballistic missiles. According to the New York Times, researchers at Conflict Armament Research found that the KN-23 missile used by Russia to strike Kiev on August 18th was freshly produced and quickly transferred. This is at least the second delivery, with ongoing production and transfer of missiles to Ukraine. Damien Spleters notes that the missile debris contains Western components, even though North Korea has faced sanctions for decades. Some of North Korea's missiles are quite advanced. Since North Korea lacks its own semiconductor industry, it sources these components from the global market to enhance its missile technology. As we can see, sometimes private companies also trade with them. This means that we can track and identify those responsible for circumventing sanctions, the American researchers add. As we know, Putin is running around the world, and those who help him will continue to be punished. The British Foreign Office summoned a chargé d'affaires to Iran due to Tehran's transfer of ballistic missiles. The UK government has stated that any transfer of Russia's ballistic missiles will prompt a significant response. Dutch Foreign Minister Kasper Veldkamp urged for new strict sanctions against Tehran on the X network. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Russia had received ballistic missiles from Iran and was likely to use them in a war against Ukraine. Germany, the U.K. and France have imposed new sanctions on Iran. These new sanctions include restrictive measures against Iran's national airline, Iran Air. During a press conference in Kyiv, Zelensky said he received information without details on missile deliveries from partners. He added that he would confirm with evidence. We know about the use of a large number of Iranian drones, but no details about Iranian missiles. Iran's foreign minister said on September 11th that Tehran had not supplied Russia with any ballistic missiles. The United States and the EU are acting on the basis of faulty intelligence and faulty logic. Russia denies receiving missiles from Iran and deems EU statements groundless, pending evidence. The involvement of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, is also considered, as thousands of Shahed drones used against us are reportedly from Iran, with technology transfer and production in Tatarstan. Iran's claim that the Shahids in use are not Shahids is supported by diplomats.